Hi everyone, welcome to Sense with Singh. So today we are going to cover summer recommendations and let's dive into this list. Alright, so the weather has started to warm up and it is time for the summer fragrances to come out. Uh, we did a lot of uh, winter recommendations. I think I did four or five videos on winter recommendations. We covered different categories in, the, in those and different scents. But this one is going to be one video. We are going to cover different budgets. There are going to be alts. There are going to be a couple of designer scents here and there are going to be niche fragrances as well. Uh, keeping in mind uh, the basic criteria of selecting this, these uh, fragrances is not only their prices or their scent profiles but also the performance. Citrus fragrances, fresh fragrances have a way of not having good longevity but these fragrances do. So starting with one of my favorite houses, uh, Oman Luxury, uh, this perfume is called Overdose. So Overdose is uh, one of my many, uh, you can say, love at firstness from them, especially uh, Royal Incense and Belfiore, Uda Kuleria, some amazing scents from them. But we're going to talk about this first. So Overdose, let me spray this. Oh, it is beautiful. It has this blast of citruses up top. It has uh, florals in the mid. There is... I think there is fig in there, there is plum, there is ambergris. Uh, I think there are, it has soft spices in there as well. So for the citrus fragrance, this is a, a little more complex than what it is. But then Oman Luxury, I know they do not compromise with these things. So Overdose is the first on this list. They're going to be around, um, I think, more than 10 fragrances here but uh, overdose uh, we are starting with these uh, with this one and absolute beauty and complex citrus scent not your regular freshy beautiful scent profile it has a certain opulence to it like the others in this uh, uh, house so yes that was overdose and moving on to the next one so the next on my list is my favorite citrus pepper combination this perfume, I have a decant of the original, it was gifted to me and I love this scent profile. This is Galloway uh, by Parfums de Marley. Uh, so Galloway is in the, as I said, the citrus uh, pepper combination. There's going to be one more from that category as well. Uh, but this here is a class apart, it's that. Uh, so this is what the bottle looks like, meanwhile I can spray this. So talking about Galloway, beautiful scent, clean. This is your, just like the bottle, this is your typical, um, you know, white shirt scent, uh, like right out of the shower, fresh feeling. And on me, this has performance as well. I have not had uh, performance issues with this unless I've been really in, you know, really outdoors in the afternoon and sweating on, uh, on a site or something. But I've had good performance from Galloway. So this is uh, citrus with black pepper and there is, uh, I think there's musk and amber in there as well a little bit just to give it a good base. I think there is iris in there as well. And talking about uh, citrus pepper combinations as I said, one of my other loved scents is Dolce Gabbana's K. I love the scent. I have a 50ml bottle lying around somewhere, but they did, they've come up with an EDP version of it, which looks like this. Uh, this is better. This has better performance. So uh, this is a good citrus pepper combination as well. Moving on to the next one. Right. So the next is a fairly newer addition to my list, but you can see that I've already put a good dent in it. This is Amon by Noam Paris. I posted about it recently when I received these. Uh, so you can see that I think I'm already about 5ml down of it. I love wearing this scent. Let me spray this. Beautiful bottle. Oh. Anyways. So uh, this here is a citrus vanilla with florals in there. 
uh, the citruses are not too heavy uh, it does feel more of a white floral vanilla combination this is quite unique uh, the performance again is very good i have worn this in good heat uh, we just had a little heat wave not too severe but it was a good uh, good enough for the scents to come out and it, it it did very well in that so i expect good performance from it further as well as the weather gets more warmer so this is a white floral and vanilla combination i think there's some fruity tones in there as well uh some incense gives it a good base and volume so that was aman by noem paris right as i said there's going to be one more from the citrus pepper category and this is called ragnar this is an alt uh, ragnar is an alt of viking by creed creed viking is a beautiful scent it has i think it has a little bit of uh, lemon and black pepper and i think there is I don't think there is another spicy tone in there as well which is which makes it slightly hotter a uh, beautiful scent uh, there's some sandalwood in there as well and this one replicates the original profile beautifully there's the fresh blast of lemon the pepper oh my god this is so classy okay i'm going to say this and i've said this a number of times on in my comments at other places but viking is my preference over aventus in from the house of creed i said it <laughs> so yes so that was ragnar uh, it's an alt by sense masters uh, of creed viking beautiful scent do check this out and it falls beautifully in the budget as well it's not that expensive and it lasts very well it it projects very well uh beast indoors yes outdoors no but still outdoors i get about good 4 to 5 feet of projection from this so Yes, that was Ragnar by uh, Sense Masters. Right, so next we have a scent which again I love a lot. I have talked about this scent earlier as well. I covered the entire house niche on my list as always. One of them is always going to be there. I love this house and they have a versatile uh, catalog. So this is Shower Me with Love by Niche. Uh, Shower Me. with love by nish is a watermelon scented scent this is fresh this is fruity uh this is an intense watermelon uh it does give a vibe of a slightly floral ambery base but it's not too heavy uh there are other sweet tones in there as well but the star of the show is that fresh juicy watermelon beautiful performance it can be slightly feminine for some but it is definitely unisex scent in my opinion so that was shower me with love by nish right so moving further is a scent which i loved the original version of uh more than its uh, fellow i am talking about uh, costa azura by tom ford i have mishandled the bottle a little bit so there are some scratches in on there but uh beautiful beautiful bottle this is the uh, bafam version of it costa azura has been my preference over its cousin neroli portofino uh and this uh, the reason that i like this is uh costa azura is a slightly more woody scent so you get a bit of spice you get a bit of citrus in there and it has a little woody tone in the base which gives it better performance and i overall like the scent performance of this because i'm very picky about my neroli scents neroli can be a little more powerful uh a little more intense uh, in my in your face kind of thing and neroli portofino was too much in my face so costa azura uh the original i loved it this is what the original bottle was but i went for the parfum version rather than the edp as well because this has good potency this has good performance even if i don't bring it closer to my nose i swing my hand around and i can still get the whiffs of it so beautiful very classy scent uh, you can consider this as a good office wear scent if you're looking for a designer scent around that price tag so i went for the 50 ml bottle i tried to buy smaller bottles rather than the 100 ml ones So, Costa Azura, Parfum version by Tom Ford. Right next, uh, let's cover another alt. So this was sent to me for review uh, by Sorup Khatri. I am talking about Journey to Enlightenment uh, by 
Journey to Enlightenment. This by Saint Delic. Uh, this is an alt of uh, imagination by Louis Vuitton. So let me spray this. This is a good musky citrus. I've worn this quite a bit recently. You can see the level has come down quite a bit. So this has been a good wear. This and another scent. I'll, when I go to the other scent, those two, I'll, I'll tell you something special about them. So, Imagination by LV is a musky citrus. It has floral tones. I feel it has a soft, spicy tone in there as well. I don't know from what, but it has a woodiness of that, like of that sort. It is fresh. It is vibrant. The musk gives it a lot of volume and sweetness. Uh, not a lot of sweetness, but more volume than sweetness. And the citruses again, uh, Louis Vuitton is doing a beautiful job with citruses. Afternoon Swim, California Dream, and then this and then Cactus Garden. My God, the list is endless. And Imagination is another one which is quite good. My preference would be California Dream. But if you're looking for an alt of uh, LV's Imagination, well, this is what you're going to go for. Alright, so next, as I said, I'm a little picky with my Neroli scents. So, this one something was something that stuck. I am talking about, if you have been following my content, you know that my list cannot go without a Mattia Premier scent. Neroli Origin by Mattia Premier. It's exactly what it sounds like. The fresh Neroli blossom has been used in here. I absolutely love it. Not only do I love this scent as, you know, on its own. Ah, this is the best use of Neroli, in my opinion. It is right up there with Neroli Eau de Noir uh, by Agarla. That was another Neroli scent that I had liked. But this, that is very difficult to find, I think. I have not been able to find a good deal on it. And when I do, uh, well, I don't have enough kidneys to sell. But Neroli Orange by uh, Mattia Premier is a beautiful, fresh Neroli scent. My God, this is uh, like summer sunshine garden, you know, with a slight cool breeze and uh, aroma of flowers. This is just, this transports you to another place altogether. So a musky citrus scent uh, with Neroli in its center. Beautiful scent. Don't miss it. I am very much against blind buys. I usually do not do blind buys, but in the fragrance community, I've come across people who have very similar tastes to mine in fragrances. And this was recommended to me <coughs> uh, as not to be missed because I'm a lover of a slightly vintage character of fragrances. So this is Etruscan Water, a blind buy gone right, recommended by one of my friends. And this is by Francesca Bianchi. So beautiful scent. Uh, let me just spray this. Ah, oh, gorgeousness. So if you're a fan of slightly vintage character in the fragrances, a little old school, those typical sheepers. So this is a citrus sheepre. This is mossy, this is ambergris, this has citruses. Oh my God, this is so very good. It's like a very good musky base to it as well. So this is just gorgeous. And the performance of it is too good. Just worth the price tag if you can find a good deal on it don't miss it it is not that expensive but it does come in a 30 ml bottle i am very happy buying 30 ml bottles because uh, i don't really uh, run out of fragrances so easily but etruscan water is something which is just amazing the green freshness of it uh, is again very alluring and just too good so etruscan water by francesca bianchi moving on let's cover another alt and this is, well, if the original had performance, it would be my signature scent. Yes, that being said, I have an alt of it and this is called Assassin by Amath. So this purchase was made last year. Uh, they sent me a 50ml bottle for review purpose. I loved using that bottle and I ended up getting 100ml. I don't wear it much uh, because of so many other scents in my uh, collection. But when I have this feeling, you know, of you know, being, feeling rich, so this is what I go for. This is a clone of Rosa Elysium. The original lacks performance very badly for the price tag that it comes for. But Assassin by Amaf is an alt of it. 
It's a spot on all of it. The citrus, the fresh green musk, everything just on the spot, perfect. And that performance, it's a beast mode scent. It lasts for easily eight to 10 hours. I have tested this in severe heat and humidity as well, and I was not disappointed. So this was 2,200 rupees well spent. But talking about money well spent, let's talk about another alt. And yes, I said that I'll give you a fact about this and uh, LV imagination altogether. So this scent is Fruit Moss. Fruit Moss by Sense Masters is an alt of uh, Hachiwa. So Nishane Hachiwat has been a very respected scent for the last few years in the fragrance community. It belongs to uh, the Aventus family. But it has more intensity, more earthiness, uh, more green aspect to it and I absolutely love it. Right there. So that pineapple with a earthy oak moss kind of a feel, the green aspect. Hashivat clone done to perfection, beast mode performer, worth the money. And what I wanted to tell you about this and imagination is that I am into running and fruit moss and imagination. Uh, I wore these scents at the start of my run or almost half an hour before I started my run. I ran 10 kilometers and when I returned home, I could still smell both of these so you can imagine running 10 kilometers you're gonna be sweating you're gonna be outdoors it's gonna be breeze or whatever and the scent is going to wear off understandable but these two just kept going until I took a shower so fruit moss Hachibat, and imagination Louis Vuitton the uh, Sandalic <laughs> uh, both of these have peace mode performance and they last that is very important so you can imagine that even after 10 kilometers both of these just kept going i mean i did 10 kilometers my sense did a half marathon so thumbs up to that so next is a scent which again uh the series the flanker it's a flanker of uh one of the latest flankers i think it came out last year so this is uh ocean by prada uh, you know the Luna Rossa series that is there so I picked up this I like Luna Rossa black I like the other scents as well from this series Luna Rossa sport and whatnot but uh, this one stuck ocean I should have bought a bottle I didn't buy a bottle I don't know why but this scent is just good I think I did not buy it because I was trying to not to buy design scents but anyways so you take the Prada Luna uh, Rosa DNA and you add a little salty vibe to it just to replicate the ocean breeze or the ocean. And this is aptly named, beautiful performer, very classy scent, very apt for the office, uh, for office wearing, uh, which usually the summer scents are, but this I can see on a summer evening, you know, outdoors as well. So Prada Luna Rosa Ocean excellent summer scent and this oh oh yes uh, with Planaruna Rosa Ocean that salty vibe that it comes with this is another scent Italian Love the Dolce Gabbana series this is a very good scent it has a uniqueness to it thanks to that salty vibe so do check this out as well right so we're down to three scents uh, but this is very good so this is called Remarkable People uh, by Dartley Bidiwaraj so Eldo, as it is known in the fragrance community. So I smelled this, I smelled you or someone like you. I love both these and I got a good deal on this thanks to Belvish. So I picked this up. Uh, Remarkable People is a beautiful citrus. So this is not just citrus. This is a grapefruit, sweet aspect of the grapefruit. Citrus with, I think it has a curry note. There's cardamom in there as well, lending a lot of sweetness to it and I think there's black pepper in there as well so again a citrus spicy scent not I would not place it with the uh, a citrus black pepper category but this is very nice this is mass appealing this is unisex 
I definitely see a woman wearing this. This has good performance. It projects like two to three feet away from you as well and creates a good scent bubble. And the scent profile is very good. Uh, in terms of citrus fragrances, I like to have a certain uniqueness to them. I think I am way past the uh, Aqua Di Gio series, even though one of those bottles is very cherished of mine. But still, I try to find a certain uniqueness in the citrus fragrances and Remarkable People actually has that. So this is a good scent for the price tag that it comes for not to be missed. So I sprayed this scent. I was like, I cannot get rid of it. Uh, I sprayed this, I was testing it and I sprayed it right here and it just kept coming and kept coming. And I had to ask Saurabh Khatri, what the heck is this? Because this is called Chidori. I don't know what that is, uh, but Chidori is a blend of Tiger, Ganymede, and I'm talking Bulgari Tiger. Uh, Ganymede by Marc Antoine Barois and Office Fragrance One Jeremy. So yes, it's it's a it's a nuclear combination. Office in itself is a very sharp scent. Tiger in itself is a very sharp scent, and Ganymede is an absolute beast. And this is a citrus sweet beast. This is sharp. This is intense. This is in your face. Uh, this is like. Uh, you know, this is the this is the summer equivalent of an animalic oud, maybe like how intense oud fragrances are in winters, and this is the summer counter a counterpart of it with an intense, sharp citrus, right? You know, thrown at you, and the juice is all over your face. So, so yes, Chidori, excellent performer, beautiful scent profile. It's going to be very mass appealing. This is you can wear this anywhere you want. You can enter and announce your presence with this without saying anything. So, Chidori by Saint Delic, Saurabh Khatri, excellent creation. Now, we are on to the last scent for this video and definitely we could not have missed this as a recommendation. Uh, Afia is doing a great job in making oils. It is, uh, so we have Afia, we have Santelic, we have Sense Masters, we have Amaf perfumes. They do really good alts, very high quality with the ingredients and everything. So this was something which was sent to me for review and I ended up keeping it. Uh, this is Greek mythology. This is an alt of the woody, the mineral note, one of the most popular releases from the last couple of years, Ganymede. So Ganymede's Alt, is it worth it? Does it last? Do we still need to buy the original or does this, you know, save you the money for it? Yes, it does. The woody, clean, mineral aspect of it, that typical DNA of the brand, captured perfectly, recreated to perfection too good. So Greek mythology, an alt of Ganymede. If you're looking for an alt of Ganymede, well, here's the answer. Greek mythology by Afia. Right. So that brings us to the end of this list. It's been, uh, I, I like doing this in one list. It was slightly convenient and I think it is easier for the audience to, you know, grasp these uh, quick reviews of these lists. So this was a summer list that we did. We covered fragrances that start from about a uh, thousand rupees and then they go up to twenty thousand rupees, right? So you have uh, Sense Masters and Sendelic uh, from starting from about thousand, fifteen, sixteen hundred, then I'm off going for around two thousand. I think then you have Overdose and uh, Neroli Orange, these are around fifteen thousand or something. Uh, Etruscan water, uh, Viking clones, okay, that's a clone. So Galloway, I think that is around 13, 14,000. You can get that for uh, niches around 6,000. Um, yeah, so I think Pralona Rossa Ocean is again around that same price range. So you have these different price ranges. I wanted to cover all this in one video, you know, put this in one bracket so you don't have to wait for the list. And because I post one list and I get uh, comments like, can you do a budget list as well? 
or could you just tell us in a concise way so here's your concise list we covered a good amount of fragrances i think i have you all set for summer if you're not able to find any of these fragrances let me know i will connect you to the right person or the right place for it we have all these are available in india you know even november paris will be here soon hopefully and uh, till that time all these are available in india easy to get uh yeah so that was the summer list thank you so much if you are listening to this you have come for so far don't forget to subscribe to the channel and support this channel and i'm really thankful uh for the patience that my audience has uh they keep telling me that they're waiting for the next video so more content is on the way i was slightly occupied now i'm slightly free <laughs> so more content is on the way and uh hope to see you in the next video as well thank you